But the thing is, these numbers, although they are numbers in the file, right? Not they are stored in the file as strings. They are they are stored in the file as strings. So one so a line here will contain will contain the number two stored as a string. But the thing is, you can't work with calculations strings. You can't really add a string to to to. You can concatenate them, but you can't basically do math with them. You have to make sure they are numbers before we can add them. And so when you read this line here, which is just number two here, which is really a string, we have to convert it to an integer first before we add it up to total because total it basically has a number stored in here. And so it reads line. When you read one line, what we want to do is we want to, first of all, say that total, right, is going to be equal to what's already stored in total plus, right, plus what's stored in line, right, but converted to an integer because what's stored in line is a string. And so we wrap the int function around what's around what line, basically what's stored in line. And so we, we are saying total is going to be equal to what's already stored in total plus whatever whatever is stored in line converted to an integer. So if line contains two stored as a string, two stored as a string here will be converted to an integer. And so it's going to be the number two, two plus zero gives you two and then two is added to total right and then if the loop iterates again it reads three now total will be two so two plus the string three converted to a number is five and then five will be stored in total so on and so forth so by the time this loop is basically done we'll have all these numbers summed up in total right and so when we're done outside the loop when we're done outside the loop, all we, all we want to do is just go ahead and display total and say that, and just have a print statement and say that the numbers in the file sum up to, and then let's pass in another argument which is basically going to be total. Now when you pass in arguments into the print function this way, they are displayed with a space separating them by default. So this line over here is going to this this print statement is going to really print this it's going to print the numbers in the file sum up to space and then what's what's whatever is stored in total all right and so for the most part we are done right but anytime we are anytime we are done working with a file we have to go ahead and close that file right and so this is the variable representing the file let's close it and we do that by just saying numbers file dot close okay Right now, this is a function. This main fu main function is just it's a function. If we don't call it, nothing happens. If we just leave this program the way it is, nothing happens. So we can try that. We can save this file. I'm, I'm going to save it again. Where, uh, like I said, um, in the same folder where I saved the text file. So it's going to be desktop here. Sum of numbers, and this is the numbers the txt file, right? I'm going to save this here as sum of numbers but with the extension .py. This is the extension .txt, but this is the extension .py. And so I'm saving this program in the same location, and that's why in my program I only typed in the name of the file. Now, if I didn't have the text file in the same location, in the same folder, and it was stored somewhere else, I'll, I had to basically type in the full path. Okay, I had to type in the full path of the file, where it's located, and, and, and basically have it here. Right, so well, this is sum of numbers. Dot pi. All right, and so yeah, you have to, if it's stored somewhere else, you have to specify the full the, sp the full <laughs> you have to specify the full path here, so you can tell this program where the file is. But because it's in the same folder, the same location, we just type in the name of the file. All right, so I'm going to save the, f the program here in the same same folder. See, nothing happens because it's just a function, and we only we've only defined it. We haven't called it. So we to really to really see something happening, I just have to basically. We have to basically call the function, the main function, this way. And so when we run this now, it says the num the numbers in the file sum up to 53. And we can maybe I put in some numbers here. We're going to do some math here, but let's just keep it simple. Let's leave it to only two and three. And I'm going to save this, and it should say five, right? Because two plus three is five. So run this, and now it says the numbers in the file sum up to five. Now let's try some more. Let's add three uh, four to it, which makes it makes it nine. Let's add three to it, which makes it 12. Let's add uh, six to it, which, which makes it 18. And then one more, which makes it 19. So save this 
we should expect 19, right? So when I run this, now it says the numbers in the file sum up to 19. So it's working. All right. Let's work, let's work on one more thing or a couple more things. Now, let's work on exception handling, right? What if this file, you know, basically what got deleted or it doesn't exist or the name of the file doesn't match the actual file? Let's do that. It's possible that I, I may make a mistake. It, it, the, number, the file is called numbers.txt, but I may make a mistake in typing, let's say, num, numbers.txt. If I run that, right, I'm going to have an error. And see, it tells me that no such file of no such file or directory nums.txt. It's saying that this thing doesn't exist. It looked in the folder, looked where I provided the path. It's saying that in the folder, because let me just open the folder really quickly. And so in the folder, we have our program and we have our text file, right? Let me just quickly show this. Let's show the extensions so we can see. We can see txt here, right? Command I gets me the information. I can basically display, not don't hide extension. Okay, so we can see the extension the txt. So this is a text file and this is the program. It's possible that this this file may not exist. But over here, I've typed in numbers txt. It's saying that hey. In this, in this folder, there is a file called numbers.txt, but there's nothing called numbers.txt, and so it's complaining that, hey, there's no file like that in the folder. And so what happens? We don't want the program to crash any uh, each time like that, right? We can fix it. And so I'm going to wrap. So bas basically what happens is this. Anytime an, an exception like this is, th is thrown, right? Anytime an exception like this is thrown, right, a... Uh, an exception object is created in memory. And basically, you can assign that ex exception object to a variable. And when you print that variable, it's going to basically print the same message to the user. All right, but this is kind of happening behind the scenes. It's, it's really displaying this message. It's, this program is, 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 is pretty much crashing right now. And so when it crashes, this is the error. But it's not, nothing is displayed to the user over here, right? And so we can actually display this message to the user.